This 2,000-year-old textbook influenced scientists such as Einstein, Newton and Kepler, and believe it or not, it's still being used in universities today. Euclid's Elements is by far the most famous mathematical work of classical antiquity, and also has the distinction of being the world's oldest continuously used mathematical textbook. Join me as we learn about Euclid and his textbook, The Element. Unfortunately, like many philosophers of his time, there is not much known about Euclid's life, including the years of his birth and death. But we begin to form an account through the writings of philosophers, such as Proclus and Pappus of Alexandria. We believe Euclid was born around 300 BC and that he worked and taught at the Library of Alexandria. Considered the father of geometry and the author of the elements, he also produced a number of other related works, some of which survive to this day. The book titled Optics focused on the geometry of vision and was completely revolutionary at its time. And a book titled Data deals with the nature and implications of given information in geometrical problems. However, both of these books follow on from the influential findings of Euclid's element. So why is this book so highly rated? Well, many of the theories contained are borrowed from the works of mathematicians that preceded Euclid, such as Thales and Pythagoras. Before the writing of the elements, mathematics was solely focused on tackling difficult problems, formulae and their solutions. This may have been the first time someone collected information from many different mathematicians and combined them into one textbook. But through this text, Euclid developed a philosophy behind mathematics that set the foundations for the field to be studied as an occupation and not simply a tool for finding the solution to problems. Over its 13 chapters, Elements is most noted for containing writings about planar and solid geometry. However, it also tackled an old form of algebra we now call geometric algebra where terms are represented as the sides of geometric objects. And number theory is also tackled in this book, with Euclid's algorithm serving as the basis of modern-day cryptography and Euclid's theorem establishing the infinitude of prime numbers. In this book, he begins with a set of axioms and then uses them to prove subsequent results, slowly building mathematical truths upon the foundation held by these axioms. And this is exactly how mathematics functions to this day, precisely why two millennia later this textbook is still used as a teaching aid. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching.